I'm Fred Harrison. I uh, run a think tank in London called the Land Research Trust. We're concerned about the impact on society of the tax system. We think that uh, the main problems in our society are not to do with things like market failure, for instance, but the failure of government and specifically in the realm of tax policy. So we're focusing very sharply on the role of government in people's lives. We live in a kind of society that is structured to defeat the good intentions of politicians. We all love to hate politicians because we think they break their promises and actually they do break their promises but for the most part they really are sincere in wanting to solve the problems of their societies but yet generation after generation of policy makers uh, we see uh, inequality getting worse, poverty not being solved, housing problems multiplying rather than being solved and you have to ask yourself why is this and the answer is that it's not that we don't know how to build enough houses or how to help people who are in distress the problem is that the structure of society based on property rights but mainly on the way governments raise their revenue the taxes which is the major obstacle to solving our problems and so that is why we need to focus more sharply on the way government raises its revenue rather than how much is raised or what it's spent on. It's the way governments choose to collect their taxes that is at the interface uh, between success or failure. Ultimately, we've got to change the way governments raise the revenue. Instead of taxing people who go to work or taxing people who save money and invest it to create jobs, those are good things. Why are we taxing them when the simple solution to raising the revenue to pay for public services is to collect it from something called rent. Rent is the net income, the part of the total income of society which we all actually help to create, which doesn't include wages and doesn't include the profits of people's savings and investments. If we collected the revenue directly from the rents of land, the rents that come in many different forms, uh, then the tensions that currently exist in the market economy would dissolve. Problems would get solved automatically. Take the housing problem. At the moment, no matter how many new houses we build, we will continue to have a situation where house prices are going up, so that some people, like me, get rich and rich, richer because our house prices are going up. It's not the house that's going up in value, it's the land underneath the house. Whereas a lot of people, the new generation, young people, find that they can't uh, get a home of their own, they can't get uh, married, they can't start families, and so we see how a simple problem like multiplying the number of dwellings in a society actually damages the uh, human fabric just because governments choose a tax regime that uh, raises their revenue by penalizing people who are working with taxes on their wages, penalizing them for their consumption, penalizing them by taxing uh, their uh, profits on their enterprises. If they didn't tax them that way but chose to raise the same amount of revenue not more, not less, uh, but with a charge that was directly on the rents of land, then we know from hundreds of years of testimony from the best economic brains that you could hope for, including a clutch of Nobel laureate economists today, that all the stresses in the economy would begin to disappear just by changing the way we raise the public's revenue.